Hey guys, I'm back with uh, more monocular depth prediction estimation. So uh, yeah, there's, there are tons of them now. But uh, my good friend Redman four five eight told me about uh, the implementation of uh, Lares L E R E S. I think it might be the original implementation, I'm not sure, but it's the one without the boosting, which is what I'm interested in. So we already have the, the Midas version 3, which is pretty good. And uh, with this, we're going to have Lares without that uh, depth boosting, which I don't think works very well. Very well. So we're going to look into that. So on GitHub, this is where it is. AIM UF UFL put the link. So that's so that's the LRS if you want to know more about it. There's some nice pictures. But anyway, let's go back because the Google Collab is here. So you have a collab for it. So let me I think I already opened it, but let me get out of here. Hold on, let me see if it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, so let me get rid of this. So I'll put links links to all this stuff. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So of course I have to sign in, so I'll be right back. So it's all explained uh, here. So what's nice about this one is that you can load several images at the same time and it's going to output the corresponding depth maps in one go. So let me first go into here, click on this, files. That's going to connect a Google Collab uh, instance. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure you need the GPU for this, but uh, just to be uh, on the safe side, just say, uh, just use GPU. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to run the whole thing, but Let's fill let's let's look at the code every time to see what's cooking. So here is just doing some basic stuff. Cloning the git and downloading uh, the main library. So let's run this. So you just click on that arrow. So uh, while we are waiting this is the image I'm gonna get the depth maps of. So this is a uh, scene from uh, Titanic, uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, this is from uh, Hugo, the machine. This is from Top Gun, and this is hold on. Uh, no, this one is the last one. This, I don't know where it's coming from. But it's a good uh, picture. So those are all screenshots from movies. So I'm going to run Lares on those five. And see what happens. I already did it, but let's let's uh, do as if I... I let, let's run as, as if it was uh, the first time I ran it. Okay, so let's go back. It's still, still cooking. Okay. Clean output directory. So that was going to be the next one. Let's see what he does here. Yep. So. Uh, I already run that thing, and it looks very similar to uh, Midas, Midas V3. So, what I advise doing is run both of them and see, and keep the best one or do combinations. So it's still doing stuff. Yeah, it's taking longer than I thought. Uh, yes, yeah, so 
let's see the uh, the file structure. So it's all happening here, and I'm going to show you where you put your images. So it's on the layers, and it's going to be test images. So it's going to be in there. So here you have stuff, and when you run this one, it's going to get rid of those. So let's wait. Let's wait a while until it's done. Oh and by the way, the dev maps that are obtained are inverted. So black is front and white is uh, back. So it's the opposite of... Uh, I'm not going to say everybody else, but close to it. I mean, just go to GIMP or whatever and just invert the colors. Okay, so it's taking longer, so I might have to... Uh, stop the video and come back when it's done so this is done uh, yes yeah, so now i have to do clean output directories it's going to get rid of all that crap clean let's do a refresh let's refresh yeah so now so Either you upload the stuff directly here, so you go into testing. Uh, hold on. Te oh yeah. So Adelaide layer is test images. So you can go here and you say uh, upload, and this is all the stuff I'm gonna upload. So you can just do that. Okay, so then you do open. So it's gonna it's gonna upload all the, the stuff. So you can do it that way, but you can do it another way. So you just you still have to. Uh, in this case, I don't think you need to run this one. Now. You can just go directly here. But let's run it anyway, just to see what's what's happening. Yeah. So if you run this one, you can. Uh, you can load them like this. So choose files and you click on your uh, images. You can do it that way. But here, since I've already done it, I can cancel your upload. Okay, so either you upload directly and then you don't need to run this thing, I think. Or you don't upload directly and you run this and you do it through the choose files. It's up to you. So then Let's see the code. Yeah, so now he's going to compute the depth maps. He's going to compute the depth maps, so let's run that. And it's very fast, by the way. So yeah, I'm just going to wait to show how fast it is. And by the way, the uh, the the output depth maps are the same size as the input, unlike uh, Midas. Just so you know. So it's done. And you can just click this one to download everything in a zip file. So download results. You see, downloading result.zip. Yeah, so yeah, it's connected to GPU, but you're not using GPU. So I don't, I don't know if you need the GPU, probably not. Okay, so, so if you go into your download, I already did it, so that's why I have two of them. So it's here, then you extract and everything ends up here. So, uh, in the outputs. So that's your depth maps. Okay, so let's look at the depth maps in details. In detail. So I already loaded them into the GIMP. So let's look at them. So that's my first image. Okay, so let's look at the depth map. Let's look at the depth map. Okay, image, depth map. 
image test map so black is uh, front and white is back a bit confusing so uh, what can I say um, looks pretty good a little bit of uh, confusion here near the arm of that guy but no big deal that can be easily fixed so I think this one is pretty good all right so let's go to the next one which is the pulp fiction pulp fiction so let's look at the death map again pretty good here uh, completely wrong but again easily fixable in GIMP so no big deal uh, yeah the background yeah I think the background is okay I mean it's not bad so if you want to sharpen by the way the you want to sharpen that thing if you want to sharpen I don't know maybe you don't need to so I usually do go into filters and ends and symmetric nearest nearest neighbor it's gonna sharpen it there's a ton of things you can do but you yeah. know okay so let's move on let's move on next one next one is uh, Hugo Hugo Cabre so let's look at the death map excellent not bad yes yeah, so pretty good uh, the main difference with Midas is that here you have uh, the background is quite uh, uh, is as detailed as the front basically so if you get more detail on the background in the background as opposed to Midas so um, that's pretty good uh, so let's move on to Top Gun so let's see what he did excellent uh, yeah here yeah, it's a bit uh, funky the transition there's a big gap big gap in depth here also so but it's, it's so fi easily fixable so that's good and the last one is going to be this one Titanic let's look at it because this is very good and here you can see in the background uh, the rigging is pretty well rendered like this one very good I mean the background is very well rendered even with thin thin structures like the, the rigging so that's that's impressive So, what can I say? Uh, I think I'm gonna conclude here. Uh, check video card. Uh, I don't think you care about that. So let me stop here. So I think, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's as good, uh, if not better than Midas V3. I would put them at the same level. So uh, I think it's a good alternative to Midas V3. Okay, so if you like this kind of videos, please, please uh, link, comment, subscribe, and I'll try to do more. If you have tips, send me uh, an email or put a, put a comment on the video and I'll, and I'll look into it. Uh, so I'll see you around. Bye.